What is up? I got these new gloves. They're called High Flex by Ansel, which is uh, Micro Flex, right? Like the other gloves I showed you guys. If you haven't watched this video, just type in Micro Flex gloves. Micro Flex chemical resistant gloves. I'm gonna review on these, I wear them all day. I love those gloves. They're obviously my favorite. <laughs> but <clears throat> I was down at the SEMA show uh, last week and I went to their booth and they happened to be playing my video of me doing this, the review on those gloves and that was kind of cool. These are supposed to be chemical resistant as well and I love that they have a nice grip on them and uh, they have fabric here so your, your hands can kind of sort of still breathe. Um, I've always liked gloves like these. I've always worn ones very similar to these, but they weren't chemical resistant. So I'm really excited to try these. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, do the motivated painters treatment on it. Just beat the crap out of them and wear them all day. I'll, I'll probably be wearing them all week, really. But uh, I'll just give you snapshots of them and stuff like that, all right? Okay. So I got small, which is eight. I like this one to be super tight, right? So your fingers go right up to the edge. So far so good, feels good. And they're nice and tight, so you can actually grab stuff, right? Which is what we need. Awesome. So they're coated here and they're lightly coated up here and they have an extra coating of uh, rubber or something there because these tend to split right here all the time so that's really good that they did that we recording yeah all right looks like i can still work the phone that's not bad that's cool all right all right okay we're gonna put some sealer on this door now I like, when you're using the other rubber gloves, or the, um, sometimes when you grab stuff, right, it might rip, right, but these, these are thick enough that you're not going to be cutting yourself, like that's a really sharp edge, you're not going to be cutting yourself, so that's good. Really nice grip of the gun, actually. They're thick, but not too thick that you can't feel anything. So that's, I like that. There's a fine line. There's a fine line there in between gloves that are just too thick and you can't feel anything and that just defeats the purpose of it. These are nice, they give you a nice grip of the gun. Very nice, I really like them. They probably give you a better grip than your actual hand because they're rubberized, right? So your hand sometimes gets dry and then it slips everything off. So this is kind of cool. So these are supposed to be chemical resistant. So I don't see anything going through. So that's really good. I usually rinse this out with dinners, but I didn't have any left before I put it in the gun wash. That's a little tip for you. Try to always rinse it out before you put it in the gun wash. But this is nice. I love it. Because the way, I like those because now you can just, you know, you can take them off fairly easy, just like that, and then put them back off. Now they might be a little hot because this is covered, right? So, but, I mean, if it saves my hand from thinners, then that's a good thing, right? 
So that's some really good grip with the microfiber, that's for sure. Wow. Really, really good grip. I like that. With some gloves, the microfiber slips out of your hands. Definitely not with this one, so I really like that. That's awesome. See? It almost gets stuck to there. Look at that. That's awesome. I like that. I like that. So far, so good. Now, if it's hot, if it's hot, you're going to sweat no matter what. Right? I mean, you could, you could sweat without any gloves if it's really hot outside, right? So, but these are really nice. They're very comfortable too. It's almost like you're wearing a, like a mitt, like a, like a winter glove, you know? So they're really, they're actually comfortable. So your hands are gonna be nice and, nice and comfy. This is good, this is good so far. So, I took him off already once, now I put him back on. So really, instead of using two pairs of gloves, I'm still only using one pair of gloves. So that's freaking awesome. Um, I think these, these gloves would be really nice for preppers as well, right? Because when you're sanding, when you're using the, the, the sanders, right? They have a little bit of cushion on them, so that's really good. And also they're, they're thin enough that you can do some hand sanding as well with them without messing up your hands. And then I'm gonna try to do some water sanding with them as well. See how it works out. All right, so I just put base with this. another gun just to try to see what the grip is like on, other, on another gun. So far, so good. It looks really nice. I'm really liking these gloves. Not bad at all. I feel like they're gonna be a regular for me from now on. Third time that I've taken these off. So far, so good. So far, so good. I haven't noticed any particles falling off from the gloves or anything like that. So that's cool. I'm really liking that. And I love the grip. Woo! Yeah, baby. So I've taken them off, taken them off, put it back on like three or four times now. And I like that. I like that a lot. That sounds like money saved to me. So that's great. I'm sure we got coverage there. All right, a quick code here. And there we're done. Awesome. We're gonna let this flash off. Make some clear. Very good. The grip is good. The grip is good. I don't know how to show you the grip. <laughs> but the grip is very good. Easy to grab things. The grip on here is not the greatest. It kind of slides off a little. But it's still good. This is perfect. Grip on, on this ones are good. You can still work the. Uh, you can still work the. The touch screen here, so that's great. I love that. That's like a big plus for me because you need to. Uh, when you're running around, you know, you need to uh, be able to work things properly, including the phone. So. I'm gonna go get a coffee. We're gonna let this chill there for a second. And they come off very easy. Just grab them. I'm trying not to stretch them too much because I want them to last. Because if you keep stretching this too much, I, they, they'll start breaking up. And right now there's no sign of this breaking up. So that's really good. I hope you guys can see that. That's great. My hands are not sweaty. They were warm but not sweaty, so that's a big plus. And it's about 85 degrees in the booth, running around, you know, I'm surprised you're not sweaty. 
time for the slick. The slicky dicky dicky. Where's my regulator at? Here we go. Boom. Beautiful. All right, second coat. The car has spray mask. Did I mention the car has spray mask? So no overspray will be on this car, okay? So if you comment below, good luck trying to uh, get rid of this overspray, blah, blah, blah. Well, you didn't watch this far, buddy. <laughs> the car has spray mask. Did I mention the car has spray mask, by the way? Okay, I just wanted to make sure, you know, you know that the car has spray mask. So it's this nice thick layer of uh, like a second skin for your car. So then no overspray will be on it and then it can be washed off nice and easy. The car has spray mask by the way. See if I can get this open with these gloves. Oh, I guess I could. This is gonna be tough. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But let's see, take them off. It's still hard with my own hands. But there's that. There's that. And they slipped right back on. Not bad. Not bad at all. Try doing that with nitro gloves. <laughs> Not bad. Obviously, if you put it here, you'll get it wet, your hands wet. But if you're all here, it's all good. That's very important to me because when I'm when I'm rolling, when I'm going fast, you know, I just want to keep going. So if my hands were to get wet, I would have to take the freaking gloves off and this and that. So I don't want that happening. Beautiful really happy with these like I said I've been using the uh, other kind that had that had just this part but nothing on here so I would get them wet all the time and then they get stinky because they would get wet so really happy with these these are made by microflex by the way um, and uh, yeah I'm happy with them I like the fact that I can just keep them on awesome and you know you can keep them nice and clean I would still try my best I would still try your best to uh, keep solvent out of them because then they'll last longer um, absolutely right obviously makes sense another good thing about this class that I've noticed is that because they're coated on the top the other gloves will start flaking off and dropping fabrics on the paint job right after you use them for a long time with these that won't happen because the only fabric is right here so you could potentially cover that with your shoe which is kind of cool that's another thing color mixed up here Oh yeah, baby. I like that. Oh man. Nailed it. Love that. I like that a lot. Really happy with these gloves so far. It's almost noon. It's almost noon and I, I'm really liking them. So I've been wearing them all day long. Taking on and off, on and off, on and off. I'm sure these are probably, you're not supposed to reuse them. I'm sure you're not supposed to reuse them, but I'm doing it anyways, just because that's how I like to test gloves. You just keep using them until they break down. That way you really have a good idea of what the heck you're buying. So, still going with it. It's about one o'clock, still going, still painting. So I'm really liking these gloves. Sounds like it will, these are gonna be my go-to gloves so far, but not yet. 
You gotta use them really well. Still going strong. Did I mention the car's covered with spray mask? I just wanna let you know that. Just for the ones that are wondering still. Nice strip I have with the gloves actually. In the middle of the hood though, when it's hard to grab the gun. Love it. I love when a product just works, you know? It does what it's supposed to do. I love the fact that my hands are protected, right? So that's a, that's a good, that's a bonus, right? My hands are comfortable. My hands are not overheating. And my hands are breathing all at the same time, which is really nice. I'm not telling you that these gloves are cold or they're really fresh. I'm saying that they're very, very comfortable. So the longer you use them, the lo they're nice and more comfortable. Well, there's that word again, nice, 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 nice. But it seems like they're molding to my hands very well. So they're super, super comfortable. So I'm really liking them. Like I'm too bad I only grab too bad I only grab one pair of these samples because they're freaking amazing. I still feel like I have really good control of the gun. I don't feel like it's gonna slip away or anything like that. Which is uh, the last thing we need. Actually not the last thing we need. We don't need that at all. So even on the fake grip, I'm able to really have good control of the gun, which is what you need, which is what I love. So it's really nice. So see the fake grip there, right? Just like you're throwing a, a peace sign, right? Go right on there. Middle, the middle finger of the trigger. That allows you to go nice and far into the panel. I'll take that. Very nice. Love it. These high flex gloves, can't complain. So this is, uh, the part number is 11-939. Very nice, from Microflex. Love it. Doesn't look like they're breaking down. So that's good. Even though I put them through thinners and all that stuff. So that's not, that's not bad at all. I'm happy with that. If that's all they did, that's even good. Four o'clock. Still using the gloves. Still holding on together. I really like that. One glove all day long, four o'clock. I'm happy. I'm gonna keep using them throughout the week and I'll let you know how it works. I'll let you know how it works. I'll let you know if they hold up. So far, there's no sign of it ripping. Oops. It's just dirty. So I beat the crap out of them. So, good job, Microflex. So these are Hyflex 11-939. And uh, you know what? I'm, I'm really, really pleased with these gloves. I've always wanted gloves like this that are fabric inside, rubberized outside, so I can have good grip, you know, chemical resistant. I really like these things. Um, I don't know what to say about them. The, uh, pretty cool. They're made in Portugal. And uh, yeah. These are size number eight. I usually wear medium gloves or small. Small or super, super tight. You should wear medium gloves. So these are size number eight, which maybe, maybe it's a medium. I'm not too sure. Yes, it's a medium. So that works. Awesome. All right. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, I'm sorry. And uh, I guess it was worth what you paid for. <laughs> I love you so much. God bless you. Peace out.